There we go. So I actually have gone ahead and activated the fingerprint scanning technology. And it should unlock. Let's try this again. It's kind of hard when you're... Okay. There we go. So for whatever reason, it took me a few swipes. It's kind of, I'm not used to doing it with my left hand. All right, so USB debugging mode. I go to menu settings. So I'm going to do the menu icon. Menu. Okay, any day now? Oh, I didn't press it right. Okay, and then settings. And then it says to scroll to applications and then development. Applications, development, and then finally is enable USB debugging. USB debugging, it gives me a message, uh, is intended for development purposes only, okay. All right, so it is all done there. So I've gone ahead and done that. Uh, connect the device to your computer. So let's go home. Go ahead and set down my phone for a moment. I've already got some apps loaded onto there. Um, go ahead and connect the USB cable. The U9 cable, uh, it is, like I said, a uh, Samsung cable. It does fit the port and everything. It's the same spec, so hopefully for the routing, it does not give us any issues here. Okay, I've gone ahead and connect the device to your USB. Do not mount your device's SD card. Run the super one-click program. Okay, um, my computer is working. It says in devising, installing device software. So apparently it's still installing device software even though I downloaded the proper driver. So it wants something extra. Moving right along. Oh, that was the folder I needed. Running it. And I'm actually wanting to make sure that it installed everything prior. Oh, well. I'm going to go ahead and click yes and see what we got. Roll the dice. Because we are about speed here. Go ahead and uh, minimize that program might crash. So we've got root, shell root, unmount, allow non-market apps, and donate. Okay, so um, my computer's making a lot of sounds here. Um, let's see. Your device is ready to use. Okay, and of course it recognizes it. Wow. It even told me how many missed calls I had. That's pretty incredible. Okay. So, I'm going to go back to our sheet here for the internet and pull up the forum. We were on step number six. All right, seven. Simply click the root button. Okay, so he did shell root in the video, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to do the allow non-market apps, and then I'm going to reboot the device. So, show my desktop. I said show desktop. Okay. A little Android icon, and I'm going to shell root. Starting ADP server, waiting, okay, pushing some file, okay, if it keeps looping, killing, okay, starting, waiting for device, okay, now it popped up saying something like installing device driver software, now it's waiting for device, running snoopter, Device has temporarily ADP root. Reboot your device to remove it. Okay. So I'm going to click OK. Now, here we go. 
I am going to root my phone. Starting ADB server, pushing Snoopter, rooted, pushing BusyBox, OK, CHMOD, OK, getting mount path. All right, this is taking a little while. Now, mind you, my phone actually already had software loaded onto it. I played around with it for almost a full week, six days. I already had stuff on there. Um, like I said, there wasn't any backup information there. Uh, looks like they got it. Uh, check BusyBox, reading OS version properties. Wow, um, this is probably the most seamless uh, route that I've ever seen. Um, of course, I've never done one. I just watched the video and read the forum. It's kind of nice to watch him do a walkthrough. It kind of works hand in hand with that guide. Remounting system, OK, pushing. Remounting system with read only access, running and rooted. Root files have been installed. Would you like to run a test? I am all about testing the waters. So let's test. A SU command will now be sent to your phone. Then you might have to select allow in super user. Okay, we'll see here. Your device has been rooted. Would you like to donate now? I'm going to donate later because I don't want to show you guys my PayPal information. And I'm going to go to the final step, allow non-market apps, required root. So again, starting ADB server. Oh, it gave me a message over here. Non-market applications are enabled. So I'm going to click OK. And are enabled. So it gave me the go ahead here. So I'm going to click on the big red X here as soon as I can get to it. Thank you. And I've got a hardware thing in here. Okay. Okay, I don't I've never synced this with the computer, so I'm just going to um unplug it. Okay. So, as requested, I'm going to... Now, also, just wanted to show you guys, I've got AT&T, and if you will notice, it says, oh, the lighting's horrible. Anyway, that says H+. Plus. So, I'm running 4G here in Texas. When I go home to the, my 3G market, I'm going to be so sad. Phone options, power off. Powering off. Oh yeah, phone is still loading. Rethink possible. Oh, I'm rethinking it all right. As soon as this phone is rooted. So it's got my fingerprint scanner. Okay, swipe finger sensor. Oh, this thing does not like me. Like I said, I never do this with my left hand. Okay, I'm going to switch. It's more natural for me to do with my right. Okay. There we go, finally. So, I don't remember the market app that he said. I think it was titanium. So let me go ahead and do a search for titanium. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to have to switch hands again. Um, let me search. T I T A N I U M. Got an extra T in there. I have got to have like the fattest fingers on the internet. Searching titanium backup root with a star. Um, there's rewriter. I guess the pro. No, I'm not going to get the pro. I just want to test this titanium. Free install. Accept permissions. So I actually am on Wi-Fi. You can see next to the H plus icon, I've got the little deal. So moving it. Titanium backup. It's going relatively fast for a Wi-Fi connection. Um, I'm going to go show a speed test as well on a separate video. Um, I really like the fact that I have access to 4G. And it just seems like it's taking its sweet time. So while that's coming up, I want to see what kind of uh, Tegra games and applications for the Tegra 2 processor. Wow, this thing is like going... It hasn't moved from 30, 43%. I might have to disable my Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, go away. Okay. Um, let's go to the market and check it out now. Okay, it is still downloading. What is the hang-up here? I think it knows that I'm trying to do it fast, and so it wants to cut me out here. Oh, network connection retry. I think that's just because I switched from Wi-Fi to... Okay. page not available. Oh, I know what the issue is here. Settings. I actually turned off my data. I'm trying to I have to go into the data manager, data delivery, and data enabled. That would be why it's not working. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, I was trying to do it without a data signal. Otherwise, there we go. As you can see now that I'm off the Wi-Fi, it is kicking butt, going straight off the H+. So, no need to create another video. Okay. Um... So, I'm going to re... Do I have to reboot the phone? Or do I just have to open it? Titanium backup. Allow. Asking for root rights. Welcome. Number has been loaded. Okay. Please wait. Viewing change log. Okay. Wow. So it looks like I have it. I'm going to go home and see if I got the app in there. Where's my school and crossbones? I don't even know what the name. Oh, 